hi guys welcome back to my channel today I am going to be filming the Valentine's Day look part two and this is the look right here I absolutely love it it's definitely softer and toned down compared to the last um, part one look that I recorded that was more glittery and bold this is more toned down soft um, a little bit more relaxed and it's all matte colors. I did only use one palette and that was the Carly Bible. Um, this is all that I have on my eyes right now. Again, the whole entire look I have on my eyes, it's all matte colors so there's no shimmer, no anything of that. So I really wanted to create two completely different looks. One for the girls who wanted to dress up a little bit more and one for the other girls who didn't want something too crazy but still dressed up and cute. So if you guys um, were interested in watching how I got this look, then just stay tuned. Okay, so to start off this look, I'm going to be prepping my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre. Next I'm going in with the Carly by Belle palette and I am using this light taupey purpley shade. I'm going to apply that right on top of my crease. For this look it's kind of going to be cut crease. Um, we don't want to get any of this purple shadow onto our eyelid so we are going to keep it pretty um, into the crease. Going back into the same palette, I'm going to take the darker shade right next to it and I'm going to apply that right on top of the color that we just put down. Going in with the creamy vanilla shade, I'm going to apply that and pack it on all over my lid. I'm going to pack it on a couple times um, just to build up the intensity. But um, yeah, so I'm going to pack it on and then I'm going to blend that out with um, the same fluffy brush that we were using earlier. I am going to be going back in with the same two purple shades that we had in our crease and applying more. Division was just an impulse to freedom. I feel some type of way hyper change in my chamber. So gracious, you are the only one I'll be running in place with. I'm taking that same vanilla shade that we have all over our lid and I'm applying that under my brow bone. We've been running in place. Now I'm just blending um, those colors together to diminish any harsh lines. Then I'm going in with this um, Star Looks Pro Eyeliner. I mentioned it in my last video. Got it in my BoxyCharm. It's amazing. Definitely my A1 eyeliner for now. I'm moving on. I'm moving Okay, so this is a new product um, that I found at Walmart. It's the Oopsie Proof Eyeliner Pen by um, Hard Candy. It's pretty much like makeup remover in a little eyeliner container. So it's really easy to clean up the edges. It was only like $5. I really like this product as well. Then I'm going in with some mascara and I'm coating my top lashes for my falsies. And the falsies that I am going to be using are from um, Salon Perfect number 615. Um, these are also my favorite. 614 and 615 are the best lashes that Salon Perfect has. Now I'm cleaning up any of the glue that you can see once it dried up with the eyeliner. Going in with my Holy Grail foundation, which I've mentioned this a million times. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I'm in the color 220. I'm just going to dot that all over my face and then blend it out with my damp beauty blender. That feels good to me. Clouds and rain. 
For concealer, this is also my Holy Grail concealer. It's the Maybelline Fit Me in the color 20. Um, so yeah, I'm doing the usual routine under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, some on my forehead, my cupid's bow, my chin, so on and so forth. And then I'm just going to blend that out again with a damp beauty blender. So This is a new um, palette for me. It's the e.l.f. foundation palette. I'm going to be using this to contour. I'm taking the darkest shade. Um, I started off using my contour brush from Real Techniques. However, that was not really working out so well. So I just started applying this all over my face with my finger. And then I blend it out with a beauty blender. I do go back in with the contour brush to contour my nose. And... Yeah, that's it. And then I just blend it out with the beauty blender. Changing my chamber so gracious, you are the only one I be running in place with. But now we breaking out these chains. All I see is sun breaking through the rain, my love. We've been running. Alright, so we are going to be baking tonight. So I'm taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder, applying that anywhere that I put my concealer, and this is just going to set it, make sure it doesn't move, and brighten up the areas just a little bit more. Then I'm taking Matt Give Me Sun, again, my holy grail bronzer, and applying that everywhere. Um, where I would use to bronze my face, uh, my cheekbones, my temples, pretty much the perimeters of my face and my jawbone. I'm going to be taking the BH Cosmetics Special Occasion Palette and I'm using this pink blush and I'm obviously just applying it to the apples of my cheeks. I did notice that I had a little bit of a heavy hand so to soften that up I went over with some translucent powder and then I wiped it off and that pretty much um, I guess you can say diffuses the amount of pinkiness that there is. So that's a little trick that you guys can do if you put on too much um, either blush or bronzer, whatever the story is. Next, I'm going in with this Luminizer Gel by Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics. Um, I'm applying this to the high points of my cheeks. I don't really know how I feel about this. I don't feel like it blends it out too well. Um, so you will see how I go over that with a powder um, highlight. Right now I'm just wiping away any of the excess powder that we had from baking our face. For my powder highlight, I'm going in with um, Champagne Pop by Becca. Jacqueline, you did an amazing job with this. Like, seriously, this is my go-to. 
Um, so yeah, I kind of overdosed with the highlight. That's okay. Who doesn't want to be looking like a walking bulb? Like seriously, it's freaking awesome. So anyways, I applied that to the high points of my cheeks. Some on my cupid's bow, my chin, on my eyebrows. And I also put it down the bridge of my nose. For under the lash line, I'm applying those two purple shades that we have in our crease and that's what I'm going to use to smoke out my lower lash line. I'm going back in with the same mascara and I'm going to be applying a coat um, to my bottom lashes. For my lips, I'm going to start by lining them with my BH Cosmetics lip liner in the color Stripped. Um, this is like definitely my go-to lip liner. It's so neutral and so perfect But anyways, I'm going to be outlining and filling in my lips with this lip liner and then I'm going to be going in with my um, BH Cosmetics cream luxe lipstick and this is in the color um, Forever nude and this is such a beautiful pair. I'm kind of trying to create an ombre effect um, so I am applying this to the center of my lips and then I'm going back in with the lip liner and lining and defining my lips. To give my lips some shine since my eyes are primarily matte, I'm going with the Circa Lip Gloss and this is in the color 02 Soft Tool. This is such a beautiful creamy lip gloss and I think it pairs perfectly with this look. Spray on some Fix Plus and you are done. Okay, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you guys definitely try it out. Please comment down below, like and subscribe on anything that you would like to see. If you like matte, um, if you like this matte look, if you prefer shimmery looks. Um, yeah, so just let me know. I'm here to record videos for everyone so thank you guys so much again for watching and tuning in and i hope to see you guys next time Mwah. oh by the way um all of my snapchat and instagram information is down below so that's all my other social media um if you guys want to keep up with my daily activities you can definitely check out snapchat i post there almost every day maybe every other day um, if I'm going to record a uh, video or if I just finish recording when videos will be up, definitely check out my Snapchat. I post all of that on there. Um, and my Instagram, I also post it on there too. So you guys definitely want to keep that in mind. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.